Hey everybody, it's Mr. Bellamy and we're going to go over the game that we're going to be playing next week in gym. It's called Santa's Sleigh Race. Um, it was given to me by some students. Um, each year I kind of let some kids uh, try to come up with some games and they can either invent it or it could be a game they already know and they write it up and share it with me and we try it with the class. The class likes it. Then we move it on to uh, more classes. Uh, the kids who turn it in usually get to teach it to the kindergartners for me. Can't do that quite this year with the whole COVID stuff, but uh, this is one of the games that was given to me and it's called Santa's Sleigh Race. So this is a scooter game, so the kids will line up. I have like some blue lines, I have the lines in my gym. Uh, that's one of our pacer lines. And uh, so what the kids do is I get, usually it's about a five team game, four or five teams, and they have uh, some mats down at the other end, we're going to go see it. We're on scooters, so the kids, they start. First kid will scooter down all the way across the gym, get to their supplies. And if you see, we have, I have four scooters, a mat, and a rope. And that is pretty much the supplies that they get. Now, I make the kids carry one item at a time. They take it back to the start line, and I usually have like a building area. Uh, that they they create that in uh, or that they'll go get so they are only allowed to bring one item and then they need two kids to bring the mat back so our items consist of so we have a total of five scooters um, four of them here the first scooters uh, the first kid starts with a rope and a mat and what the kids will do is they to bring each piece back one by one um, once we get more than one scooters, if they like the first kid brings a scooter back, then he can take, uh, then two kids can go down and get it. If they bring a rope back, then uh, he's going to have to come back and get another scooter. Once you get all the scooters down there, and the, uh, like I said, the mat, I make two kids carry the mat, one on each side, uh, and the rope. Once they get all the materials down, let me see if I can show you how we're going to build that. Then they go into the process of building their Santa sleigh. And instead of moving it all down, I'm just gonna try to do it right here. So what they'll do is when they get everything back across their green line, uh, or their blue line uh, over on that side, uh, this side over here is green, is they'll put their scooters, I either try to do it I try to have at least three underneath there. Now mine have these great little handles on them so the kids don't get their fingers pinched as often. So I like to use them so that way because if you just go this way, then when they turn, your wheels will sometimes hit and it'll bog your scooter down. So if they turn it this way, it'll actually give them a little bit better or they stagger it or this way. The main object is to have them spaced a little bit further apart so their wheels won't connect to each other or crash. They set the mat on top. Now, if this, if there's only four people in the group, this will work great this way. If there's more than four people in the group, then we usually have to add a, a scooter or two and we'll open the mat out and we'll have a couple more scooters over on that side. So that way the kids are able to spread out a little bit more. This way you usually have one in the front, one in the back. The kids will hold on to the mat. I usually have the first kid, the reindeer, or on the other scooters, will be pulling. So there'll be two, since we have two extra scooters. So one will have each end. The person behind holds onto the rope that's over here. And then I, the person in front would hold on here. I like it this way because they can put their feet on here. Um, definitely make sure they don't have their feet hanging over the edge because scooters will catch them in the heel or they'll put their feet down and it will stop them. So here, if their scooter falls apart, uh, then they have to go back and start all over. If a reindeer falls off the scooter, they have to let go of the rope go back to the start and then come back and catch them. Um, so then they race, I set a cone up on each end and they race around the cone 
switch who's ever was a reindeer, especially if it's a four-person team, whoever was reindeer uh, now are riding on the sleigh and the other two become reindeer and they pull back to the uh, to the start line and whoever gets there first. If I have more people, so if there's like five or six people, then they may have to do two laps. So they may have to go down, back, back down again um, to, to have a winner. So that's it. That's how you play uh, Santa's sleigh race. Hope you guys like the video.